neat in their play. So it, this is going to be an interesting contest. The ball is thrown in by Mrs. Louise Asman, the Austrian Embassy representative. And uh, it's taken out by Otito Guinazu. He and Glenn Gilmore going to the ball now. And it looks like Kelvin Johnson will be first to it. He'll play the backhand out towards the side. Gilmore turning up, but gwynazu has got on the inside now. Gwynazu's little backhand doesn't go a long way. Gilmore's going to pick it up off the boards. Uh, and he'll look for a bit of clear space here if he can. Try to dig it out. It's uh, chopped out there by Mario, uh, Dario Musso. Musso takes it down towards the corner. Johnson's in there, plays the backhand up along the boards. Next one to it is Will Gilmore. No, he can't come in there. Gwynazu's who's got possession of it. But he, Gilmore, carts him out of the way and picked up by Gilmore. Gilmore playing it tough here and uh, just um, pushing along there now. Will Gilmore going hard. Musso's there. Gwynazu's there. Gwynazu gets the ball. Will Gilmore cuts it. All the Argentinians at the back now. Musso drives it forward. He'll put it down over the back line well out to the right of the post and Will Gilmore's happy to watch that one roll that way. So looks like the Australians are going to put it to the Argentinians. Um, very strong defence. And uh, Argentina used to be able to open up the play and get the hit in. Here goes Glenn Gilmore. Leaves it for Kelvin Johnson who drives it forward. Nice structure in the Australian play. They've gone down to the attacking half now. Jockan goes into Will uh, to uh, Glenn Gilmore. Will Gilmore and... Musso going for the ball. Musso gets the backhand in. Guinazu in there. Taps the ball forward. That's put him down the back again. So you can see Kelvin Johnson sitting deep waiting for somebody to come through. And finally it's uh, Jokan comes in. Backhand by Will Gilmore. Picked up by Musso. Musso drives the ball into centre field. And uh, Will Gilmore takes Guinazu out of the way. Then comes up and gets Musso. Leaving Glenn Gilmore there to take the ball round the corner. And turns the ball now. Neat play by Gilmore. Gwinnazu goes in to try and hook him, but Gilmore running in towards goal. Tucks it on the near side. Doesn't get the angle. That'll go over the back line well to the left. So, uh, Dario Musso from the back line. Now, the Argentinians are all keeping close together here. They'll try and open things up. Musso has to go down the corner because the, the centre has been nicely covered. Picked up by Gwinnazu. Gwinnazu, Kelvin Johnson comes in. No big pardons in that bump. And uh, in comes Will Gilmore. Hooked out of the play by Musso. But now he turns around and hooks it away again. And the umpires blow the whistle. So it looks like a hit on the spot's going to be awarded to Argentina. Again, not a severe penalty, just players milling around the ball there. Um, and uh, Dario Musso was following down the old line, so uh, but Will Gilmore didn't have much choice. He was either going to try and get possession of that ball or give it away to Musso. So Musso gets the hit anyway, and down the field it goes. Gwinnazu's in there to take the pass, chops it under the pony's front feet, is running towards the back line. In comes Jokka. Kelvin Johnson's there, Will Gilmore. Gilmore goes around the corner, and once again, the umpire's not happy with the play. And, uh, so it looks like the penalty will go to Argentina. And the first chance for a score in this game. We've had nearly three minutes, half the chucker. And so far scoreless. So uh, an open goal penalty here to Argentina. And uh, Daria Musso lining it up. So it looks like he'll take the penalty. He's just going to walk in. Take it quietly, looking for accuracy rather than distance here. Swings the stick over and goes left of the post. So there's a massive let off for Australia. And so, uh, well, they'll breathe a big sigh of relief and get going as quickly as they can. Glenn Gilmore across the goal. Let's go up the attacking end, boys, he's saying. And he'll try and um, bring the ball around now. Cuts it beautifully. Will Gilmore's up there. He and Musso are having a big battle here. Dario Musso gets the backhand in. Gilmore's got it covered for Australia. Looking to see where uh, Kelvin Johnson goes in to take a man now. No, he doesn't. He goes forward. Gilmore's got possession. He'll unload from there. Let's the ball go. Up to Kelvin Johnson. Musso's got it on the stick side. Takes the near side tap shot um, and 
Kelvin Johnson going with him. Round the corner they go. Glenn Gilmore's pony he trips up on him. Picked up there by uh, Gwinnazoo. Gwinnazoo comes in, can't be up the next shot, but Musa's on your bounces back. Who's first around? Kelvin Johnson's going to be the man to the ball. He'll just tap it forward now, and Gwinnazoo's come back in defence. And here goes Australia on the attack. Gwinnazoo comes in, plays the backhand shot. It goes out towards the corner now. Picked up there by Dario Musso. He gets a bump from Will Gilmore, takes him off the ball, comes in now, and the Australians playing it tough here, but uh, no, Musso gets in stick, and uh, once again the whistle blows. We'll just wait and see what happens with this one because uh, it looked like Will Gilmore had got possession on that tap. He had two. The penalty's going to Australia, and it'll be Glenn Gilmore to take it. They're inside the attacking half. And uh, the Australians just really making Argentina play very hard for this ball. Argent this Argentine side yesterday was, was very keen on getting into the open and hitting the ball and the Australians are hanging onto them and making them work hard for it. And it's working so far. They've kept the gear the Argentine team scoreless, but they need to put some attacks on themselves. You can't just keep trying to stop the others. You have to come up and push the ball forward. So Kelvin Johnson just off. He's lost a spur in one of those tussles. There's Marcos Juranga, who is the first president of the Federal Federation International Polo, a staunch supporter of the Argentinian side, so he'll be holding his breath a bit here. Glenn Gilmore comes through from the penalty shot, hits a pony, got the near side shot there. Who's going to get that next there? Martin Jokans there, but Kelvin Johnson traps it, and Gwinnazu comes across, and the whistle has blown. So I think, again, just wait and see, but um, Kelvin Johnson had pushed that ball forward. And I think um, Tito Guinazu thought he had room to come across and take that ball. Umpires didn't think so. And they've awarded the penalty to Australia. So. Glenn Gilmore will take the penalty. Walks in. Taps the ball forward, drives it through the goal, and first score goes to Australia. So they now lead Argentina by one goal to nil. And, uh, so, Dario Musso now. And the Argentinians aren't used to playing catch-up much. They usually get out there quickly and score. Kelvin Johnson, backhand by tucks it off the line. In comes Gwinnazu now, but Gilmore's in there with him, and in comes Will Gilmore, and that's called a sandwich. And... Uh, the, uh, I think uh, Will Gilmore thought he was going to peel off there and so um, no harm done except that that's, that'll be a penalty to Argentina. And, uh, so, so I'll just wait and see what they're <coughs> siding here. It's a hit on the spot to Argentina. They're not going to take any territory away from them. So I said I think Will Gilmore was pretty committed to that ride off. He didn't realise that uh, that uh, Gwinnazoo had come on to Glenn Gilmore, so um, no way he could get out of it. Umpires, I think, sensibly have said that's a hit on the spot. Free hit. You've still got to take it to the goal. Dario Musso. Little going round the corner tap shot now. Gilmore takes him out of the way, but Gwinnazoo's following through. He'll have to get past Glenn Gilmore, though, and uh, Gwinnazoo goes in, runs the ball towards the goal, gets caught up amongst the ponies, but he brings it forward, and it bounces up in front of goal, and it's taken wide by Martin. Okay, is it or is it a goal? I thought the goal umpire put the goal. I, it uh, looked to me like it was going... No, it's a goal. It's gone through, so it's one all the score now, Argentina and Australia. And Gilmore will bring the ball across the field. And uh, takes it forward. Hits a pony, but he takes it forward once again. Gwinnazoo chasing hard on Gilmore now. Coming through. Kelvin Johnson picks up the little pass, puts it across field. Now leans out a long way and straightens it up. But here comes Dario Musso. And Musso steals the ball. And he's away. He's away running down towards the goal line. He picks it up now. He runs it in towards goal. He's got a cut shot from here. Can't get it. Kelvin Johnson oh, and the pony kicks the ball forward. And that's an own goal for Kelvin. But um, this is a good game of polo.
And uh, so, well, Kelvin Johnson won't be happy about that. He got there in time to get the back up, but he just couldn't dig it out, and his shot hit a pony's foot and kicked it through. So it's 2-1 to Argentina with 30 seconds to go. Australia coming through on the attack now. Glenn Gilmore, uh, Will Gilmore riding hard on the line of that ball. Man coming across, it whistle blows. It'll be a penalty to Australia. So back to halfway. And uh, Glenn Gilmore round the side he goes, keeping it on the stick side, running it in towards goal. He's still got time to score from here. There's 10 seconds left, but it's backed out nicely by Musso. Musso gets Argentina out of trouble. Onto the boards it goes. Kel Johnson's there, backhand shot off the boards. Goes up high in the air, picked up by Guinnazu. There goes the siren. And uh, so Tito Guinnazu tried to uh, put the ball in the air. And picking it up on the volley. So. Well, the Australians will be pretty happy about that. They may be behind, but they've, they've done very strongly. And uh, the Argentinians just getting a couple of goals in about 20 seconds there at that stage. So uh, they'll go into the second chuck at 2-1, but they wouldn't be confident in this game at this stage. So we'll change ends. The Australians now heading to the horse line's end and the Argentinians to the clubhouse end. And it's a backhand there by Yocan, but it's picked up by Will Gilmore, who tucks it away from the ruck now, bringing it around. Bounces awkwardly for him, but Glenn Gilmore's in there to pick it up. Murcio's horse hits it, and Kelvin Johnson was following that one through. And so <coughs> the whistle blows, and... Uh, We'll wait and see. I think the umpires will say that if Johnson had got that ball, he probably would have been able to take it down to the scoring zone. So that will give them a defended goal penalty, which means that the uh, defending team can sit in the goal mouth. And... Put a player in the goal mouth, so he'll stand sideways to try and block this. Glenn Gilmore will take the free hit. And, uh, so Glenn Gilmore comes in now to take this hit. And he puts it high in the air, and I think it might have gone wide. It has, so uh, that's a let off for Argentina. Australia still trailed by two goals to one. And the Argentinians will hit in. It'll be Dario Musa, who drives the ball over onto the right-hand side now. <coughs> Kelvin Johnson goes to Guinazu. Guinazu puts the ball over the sideline. And so we'll see a throw in not quite on halfway. Early in the second chucker. Argentina two, Australia one. Umpire Campbell McDab calls him to give him a line down the middle. Now he's happy, puts the ball in, it goes, gets caught up in the middle, picked up there by Martin Yacquin. He takes the ball down along the boards, drives the ball right down towards the goal, but not straight enough towards the goal. It actually goes over the line well to the right. So. Then Gilmore will waste no time getting back in play here. They know they've got to get a goal to even up here. And <coughs> goes up past Kelvin Johnson. He'll get the next shot. Just drives it up into the centre. Musso's got it covered for Argentina. Looks for the backhand. Gets it too. But uh, Kelvin Johnson's seen that one coming. And just as he's about to hit it, Martin Jokan's pony goes down. But uh, he was still on his feet virtually. So um, we'll just wait and see. They'll see him come around there. Pony just slips and he almost steps off. Loses back feet, which is what happens here on the snow. We haven't seen any bad accidents so far, so touch wood we won't. But um, it's mostly been these horses coming around the corner, just their, their back feet lose traction. And uh, down they go. But, uh, fortunately, it also usually tips the player out of the saddle and away from any possibility of being crushed. 
So we'll throw in towards the sideline. It bounces out on the Australian side. Johnson's there first. Tucks the ball under the pony's tail. Will Gilmore turning up. So is Glenn Gilmore. He and Musso having a big tussle for the ball now. Cuts it into centre field. And Kelvin Johnson was calling for that one. But uh, Pony just tripped on him. Didn't give him the traction he'd like. So um, Gwynazoo drives the ball down to the scoring area. Glenn Gilmore coming up to this one now. Plays the backhand, doesn't get a lot of distance, but it's good enough to find Kelvin Johnson. Johnson now takes the ball under the pony's neck. He'll put it up onto the boards. Now he gets the next one. Gwynazoo's there. Johnson's there. Johnson buff, uh, pushes him out of the way, gets the pony in the way. Musso looks to play the backhand, sees that Gilmore could have turned on that, and Gilmore decided not to turn. He decided to ride the line. Musso turned, and Australia will get the penalty. So, in this uh, snow polo, because it's so tight, the field is small. A lot of these players are used to having room to move around the ball on the full-size grass field. Here, there's usually a player very, very close to you, so turning plays are always a bit dangerous. Gilmore drives it down on the left-hand side, hits a divot and bounces high and leaves it there for Gwynazoo to play the backhand for Argentina. Kelvin Johnson's seen that one coming. He'll go to the ball now. He sees Musso coming through, so he'll play a backhand. Pop it off the boards, leaves it there for Glenn Gilmore. Gilmore drives it high, pops it down now. It's about uh, 30 yards out. He's got a cut shot into goal from here. This is looking good. Can he cut it back? He can't quite get it. Can Will Gilmore? Yes. Oh, no, it's not there. In they go. <laughs> and it's taken away by Musso. Trapped by Kelvin Johnson. Tries to dig the ball out. He runs it down towards the back line. Whistle has blown. Well, that... Uh, that's about as close as you get. We've seen a couple of these now. One happened in the game before when uh, Chris McKenzie was able to just grab it on the line. Here comes, this was Glenn Gilmore, couldn't get it. In comes Will Gilmore now, tucks the ball around, just sits up in front of goal and doesn't quite reach the line. So Argentina, this is still anybody's game here. Argentina have been given a penalty on the spot. The Australians in their eagerness to score the goal, not quite watching the line, so Dario Musso puts plenty of wood on that one. Lovely strong drive by Musso, takes it up over the halfway line, Johnson back there, his backhand shot, Will Gilmore turning up for it now, tries to snooker the ball through the ruck, picked up by Gwynazoo, Gwynazoo and Johnson um, going hard to the ball, Gwynazoo just gets half a length clear but the bouncing ball beats him, no it doesn't, he drives it forward once again, Gilmore's there and he can't stop that one and that'll put Argentina out three to one. So how quickly this game can change. Just one little penalty down in front of the goal and away goes Argentina. So now a bit of pressure on Australia. They'll need to uh, to uh, get a couple of goals in this chucking out to, uh, to try and even this up. Glenn Gilmore, ball bounces high over his stick and so it's left there for Gwynazoo to try and dig the ball out. Plays the backhand, gets it up too and Yokan's come through there. Seen that ball coming, cuts it away but uh, doesn't get a lot of angle on it. Goes well over, over the back line, well to the left. So Australia will hit in from the back line. They're looking to get away from this defensive zone. But then Gilmore's not going to give the ball away. He'll just try and keep possession set. His forward players up. Will Gilmore out on the left. Kelvin Johnson, sorry, out on the left. Will Gilmore out on the right. And uh, in comes Kelvin Johnson now. Nice play by the two Australians. Gilmore's on the end of that one. Oh, Pony treads on it, goes backwards. Yoka and Kelvin Johnson now. He's uh, there on his own pretty well now, so he can decide to just come around the corner with it. Will Gilmore goes in to take a man out of the way. Kelvin Johnson just waits for the traffic to clear. Backhand by Musso. Glenn Gilmore is there at the back. Now, he's got Kelvin Johnson out this side, but he decides to go on his own around the corner with it now. Difficult to drag the ball in the snow, though, and the ball bounces the backhand now. Kelvin Johnson's back there. Backhand doesn't pick it up. Oh, nor does uh, Yokan. So Will Gilmore drives it across the field, and he's got him out of trouble. Puts it onto the boards. Bring it along now. Yep, and he gets a bump there from Martin Yokan, who plays the backhand, but... Uh, Glenn Gilmore's horse gets in the way, taps the ball now, brings it forward. He's got the new line. Gwynazoo can't come in there. 
Glenn Gilmore taps it back now for Kelvin Johnson, who doesn't hit it. But uh, Musa is there, Johnson's there, Gilmore's there, Gilmore hits the boards. Kelvin Johnson now cleaning it up for Australia, bringing it up towards the halfway line, leans out and plays the ball into centre field. In comes Will Gilmore, tries to hook Guinnazoo out of it. Guinnazoo gets the backhand. Kelvin Johnson now. So there's the bell, 30 seconds to go, and this chuck at Johnson can't dig it out. Musso has got it, taking it across the field. Glenn Gilmore now. He sees he's got time to come in and play the backhand. Up to Kelvin Johnson now. Picked up Guinnazu, diving on the ball. Doesn't get a lot of length on it. Will Gilmore can't pick it up. In goes Kel Johnson now. Picked up though by um, Yokan and Martin Yokan shots right down in front of goal. Gilmore will wait and watch that one go across the field. It's sitting up in front of goal. Will Gilmore saves the day for Australia. And the siren goes. And that was nearly a fourth goal for Argentina. So Australia certainly not having the best of the second chucker. Argentina putting two goals on the board. And uh, Australia will have to come back now and I think try and work on that attack. So. Um, Argentina be pretty comfortable with a two-goal lead in what's turning out to be a very tough and tight game of polo. Doing better in the general play. So now, out of the ruck it comes and it's going to be Dario Musso first to it, but Glenn Gilmore gets a shot on the near side, takes it out to the boards. Musso's there to cover for Argentina, doesn't pick it up. Gilmore again on the near side. So... Waits to see who's going to go. Will Gilmore gives him a lead there out the centre. He hits it into a pony. Will Gilmore leans out a long way at the back. Picked up by Musso. Musso takes it across to the boards. Kelvin Johnson goes with him. Musso onto the boards here now. Gilmore's come back. He taps the ball down onto a new line. Picked up by Kelvin Johnson. Goes past Will Gilmore. Picked up by Guinazu. Guinazu around the corner with it. And... Uh, Will Gilmore's there with him though. Glenn Gilmore plays it on the near side. And um, Musso, I think, thought he might get a foul out of that one, but um, it's, up, it's up, chapped out there by Winnazoo. Will Gilmore hits it up to Glenn Gilmore. Glenn Gilmore drives the ball down, but it's gone to the left of the post. So no score results, and it will be a hit in from the back line. Umpires are blowing the whistle, but I think it's just because there's a, a horseshoe's been ripped off. And uh, it's on the ground there. Quite dangerous, of course, if a horse treads on one if it's upside down. So, the Argentine side to hit in from the back line now. Dario Musso is lining up to take the hit in for Argentina. Gwyneth is sitting deep. Umpire Jason Dixon just having a chat to players. So. Dario Musso from the back line. Drives the ball out to the right. Guinnazoo's hard onto that one. Kelvin Johnson comes in and there's no thank yous in any of that play. Will Gilmore now just taps it on the boards. He gets the new line. But now Musso dives in and takes it away. But um, it's going to be Glenn Gilmore coming in just off the ball's front feet. Musso drives it down towards the goal, but he's put it to the right. And that one will go over the back line. And no score results. It remains uh, Argentina 3, Australia 1. Glenn Gilmore. This time goes out to the left and he's put it high in the air. Musso sitting deep. Will Gilmore looks over to see if there's any Argentine players coming. No, there's not. And it's left sitting there. And now Gilmore gets the better of the bump. Up to Will Gilmore. They're cousins and they play well together. Will Gilmore now trying to tap the ball past Musso. Gets it past him. Pony taps the ball forward. Umpires blow the whistle. There was a second Argentinian in there. Not happy with it, but I think the pit will go to Australia. Will Gilmore was sitting on the line, he had every right to be there, and uh, there was already a man marking him. So, this is an important penalty for Australia. If they can put this one through, they're just a goal behind, and there's still four minutes left in the chucka. So, Glenn Gilmore. Taps the ball through. He's not going to make any doubt about that one. An undefended goal. You don't need to do it hard or high. And so 
It's three goals to two now in favour of Argentina and Argentina in the defensive half, hitting in. Australia will try and trap this ball while it's still in that attacking half and that's why Musso has hit it as hard and as high and as long as he can for Kelvin Johnson coming through. Can't get it. Will Gilmore taps the ball forward now. Looks to see where um, Kelvin Johnson is. He's turned the ball around the corner. Now he takes the backhand shot. Drops down in front of Glenn Gilmore. He'll take the ball forward now. He calls all his players forward. There goes Kelvin Johnson down on the left-hand side. And Guinazu has to follow him out there. Johnson coming around the corner, trying to dribble it up, open up the goals. Trapped there by Musso, though. Good play by the Argentine. He just waited patiently, tucked the stick out and trapped that ball. He's put it over the sideline. There's three minutes left in the chucker. Argentina leading by three goals to two. So Australia on the attack. In it goes. Now, here comes Kelvin Johnson up in front of goal. Musso's there to save, so as Guinazu comes round the corner, gets Argentina out of trouble. Will Gilmore taps it under the pony's front feet. Musso picks it up, takes it away to the right-hand side, to the left-hand side now, but it's turned around there by Kelvin Johnson. Who's going to be first to it? Guinazu turns up now for Argentina. Looks to see where he might take this one. Uh, you know, he's... He, He's left it, left it there for Musso. Musso turns up now, Kelvin Johnson's gonna go with him. Musso out towards the boards. Johnson coming in now, will try and mark him off the ball. Goes for a little hit in front and the umpire's not happy. So, we'll just wait and see. Yes, they're gonna take it down for a uh, defended the goal, I think. Defended penalty. So, pressure on now. Australia. You saw in the replay there that the in leaning out to try and just tap that ball forward. Kelvin Johnson pulled his horse across the line, and uh, that's intimidating to the player coming through. So um, the penalties deciding this game in the last couple of chuckers. Although Argentina getting that good goal to put them out to three, so this will make it four two. But again, it's a defended goal, so you can't just tap it along the line. When most players here are electing to put it in the air to try and stop the defending player from trapping the ball. Let's see what Tito Guinazu is going to do with it. He's just going to trot in quietly, line it up. Plenty of practice swings. Looks to the ball, puts it high in the air and puts it wide. Well, there's been very few defended goals converted here. These players focusing on the fact of getting it away from the defending player and trying to get it in the air. And in many cases with this softball, that means you're gonna put it, put a bit of spin on it. As soon as you do with this ball and it gets in the air, it's gonna go off center. So Will Gilmore, Kelvin Johnson all up the front. And uh, so Glenn Gilmore hits through to them, but Gwyneth is gonna be there with a the backhand shot. Gilmore rides up and takes him out of the way so he can't follow up on his own play. Coming in there now is uh, Musso. Musso trying to straighten the ball up to bring it into goal. Kel Johnson's there, doesn't get it. Picked up there by Jokam. Jokam is Wakam's there and he just takes the ball. Will Gilmore cleans it up. He's done a lot of great plays in this, in front of goal there. Will Gilmore, that was another saving backhand. Just keeps his head down and drives in. So a big let off for Australia there. So Kelvin Johnson wastes no time getting the ball back in play. Glenn Gilmore picks the ball up out of a hole in the snow. Just waiting to see if Gwyneth is going to come to him. So he says, no, he's not. I'll take it out this side. Musso's read that beautifully. Comes in and plays the ball in front of Gilmore. Now it's off the back there. And um, Gwyneth, Musso. Musso's at right angles to the goal here. Tries to cut it around, but it's very hard to get that much cut on the ball. And it goes wide again. Argentina trying to protect a one-goal lead here. One minute and six seconds left in the chucker. Gilmore takes the ball across the field. He'll belt it now. He'll try and get Australia up into this attacking half. Will Gilmore's there with him and Kelvin Johnson turns the ball around on his side but that's left it there for Musso. Musso takes it down towards goal but it's going left to the post. Gilmore's there. So is Kel Johnson. Johnson's backhand is a great saver. Will Gilmore and Gwinnazoo turning up. Gilmore's pony's got a couple of legs clear on Gwinnazoo. Heodore doesn't dig it out. In comes Gilmore. Gilmore on the near side. He can't get it. Musso's got to just play it out over the sideline. And gee whiz, when the Argentinians start playing defensively, you know that this team is really starting to worry them. And uh, let's wait and see. It's 
So in it goes. And winners who can't get it. Kelvin Johnson plays the backhand. He couldn't do anything else for that one. He couldn't get the next shot there. Musso will get possession for Argentina. He'll take it down on the attack. Now the leading by a goal. There's 13 seconds left. Gilmore turns the ball around. Has Australia got time? In comes Musso. In comes Guinazu. In comes Glenn Gilmore. Off the boards. Up to Musso. Up to Gilmore. Gilmore can't get hold of it. Musso puts it out over the sideline as the siren rings. So as I said, I haven't seen Argentina play defensively like that for a long time. They knew that they couldn't give Australia any quarter there. So well, well done to Argentina. They've run out the winners by three goals to two in a very, very tough game. I think the lowest scoring game we've seen here so far in the Snow Polo World Cup. And uh, Australia, well, they um, certainly could be proud of themselves, but they'll be very, very disappointed that uh, with a lot of opportunities earlier on in the game, they just weren't able to convert them. A couple of ones sitting up in front of the goal, but. Uh, some great attacking play, great defence by young Will Gilmore, certainly Winner Zoo, as he did yesterday.